didn't have any interaction with him, but he was a, like a kid that was always alone. He was always bullied uh, every day. He was just an outcast. Uh, yeah. I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast, and you know how kids are nowadays, so they're going to see someone like that, and they're going to target him because they think it's funny or whatever. So it's the best way I can describe it. And it's honestly kind of sad. Like, I don't want to say this is what provoked it, but you never know. And you said he was a loner? Yeah. Um, I want to say he was a loner more because he was just, he was quiet, but like he was just bullied. Like he was bullied so much, so much. He was just made fun of, I guess, for the way he dressed or his appearance. How do you dress? Uh, like they were just saying jeans. He'd wear hunting outfits sometimes. Uh, I, he would always wear a mask. Even after COVID, he, he wore a mask. Like you could look at him and you would be like, something's a little off. That's, that's how I could describe it. Would you ever suspect to think of somebody like that being <laughs> I mean, someone in Bethel know? Park? No, in, it's not something you'd want to think about, like being real. Is seeing all this is like actually unbelievable. It's, it's so crazy. Did he do anything in school? Was he part of any club or anything that you guys know of? I believe of or he anything? was on the rifle team. Um, my brother was on the rifle team. I actually texted my brother this morning to see if this is true. Um, I've yet to heard back from him. I don't think anyone would have thought this. It's it's crazy. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.